Hello, what's up you to photographer Ronix with another try in this tutorial. I want to show you the best way to sharpen your images within Photoshop. And this is going to be an effective way. I know there are tons and tons of tutorials about how to sharpen your images in Photoshop. But I think that this is going to be a better way. And by this I mean you're going to be unsharpening the image in order to sharpen it. It sounds weird, I know, but if I totally find the video helpful, make a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so this is the image right now that we want to apply the sharpening on the reason for sharpening is because you can see that this model is slightly in focus and this one is out of focus and we want to bring the details back and sharpen this second model in this case so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to the background there and simply press Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard. And I'm going to rename this layer into Sharpen. So after doing this, I'm going to convert it into a smart filter. By smart filter, I mean we're going to make this layer non-destructible. So that when after applying the sharpening, we can as well come back and play around with different adjustments that we had applied to this sharpening filter so right click on the layer right here right click and you come to convert to smart object so after you have done this you're going to come straight to our filter you can see when you convert it into a smart filter it opens or creates this smart object icon next to the layer icon of the image then you're going to come to filter and you're going to come to sharpen and come to and sharpen mask so with this you can see that we have different values i'm just going to reset this amount is how much of the sharpening that you want within your image and the radius is how distant you want the sharpened pixels to be in the image so for example if at all i'm to take the amount up then i take up the radius you can see it is going to make the pixels a little bit dense and it is going to make the image really not look good so you have to be careful with the radius slider. So what I'm going to do, I always prefer to keep my radius below 2 pixels. So I'm just going to take this up to around 1.7 is okay. Then I come under the amount I'm go and I'm going to look at the image and zoom in or zoom out. So you have to look at the image. So I'm going to come to the amount option and I'm going to take the amount up just like that as i'm looking at the preview here and also the image in this case so i'm just going to take this up around 170 it looks okay so i could as i could as well take it up around 180 so i know these results that we have applied we are going to be able to change them later on in the tutorial so i'm just going to come and simply hit okay so with this, you can see the before and after, before, after. But as we're applying the sharpening, as also over sharpened this model who was already in focus. Just look at the before and after. And remember, our biggest emphasis is on this second model. And like I said, you can always and always come and change these sharpen layers because this is a smart filter. You can simply double click on the unsharp mask layer and you can as well change these values after applying them on the image so that is the advantage of using a smart filter so just come and hit okay if at all you feel like that is okay for you then remember we want only apply the sharpening on this model alone yeah so if at all you want to do that simply come and select the smart filter layer icon and simply invert it by pressing ctrl or command i on the keyboard and that is going to invert the sharpening from affecting the overall image remember in photoshop black is going to hide and white is going to reveal so with the white brush we want to paint back the sharpening on the model that we want to increase or intensify the sharpening on so you can see there is no effect right now on the overall image so just come under the brushes, right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is at 0% meaning it is a soft round brush. Then come to the opacity and simply make sure it is at 100% and the flow is 100%. Then 
then also come and make sure you have black and red you can reset if at all you have different colors here by clicking on these two small black black and white boxes then you can as well switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard and that is going to switch in between the black and white color so make sure white is on top or white is a foreground color meaning the brush is going to be white in color so you can use that brush and you can use different sizes of your brush by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard and you can paint in using that white brush in the areas that you want to sharpen so i'm just going to sharpen this so that they can be on the same focus level or they can have the same amount of sharpening and details so i'm just going to do this and you can as well sharpen these other areas because we want the same details or the same amount of details so right now you can see that both models are having the same level of sharpening so you can see before after let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see before and after before after and when you feel like the effect is too much you can come to the opacity and simply deal that back down or you can as well come to the unsharp mask and simply double click remember this is a smart object and you can come and simply dial back the sharpening so they can be at the same level or they can match in this case and you can come and simply click on ok so basically you can see the before sharpening you can see that she had no details at all and she was looking a little bit blurry and you can see the after sharpening you can see that we have gotten back most of the details and the two models are on the same level of sharpening so basically this is the best way to sharpen the images in photoshop then if at all you sharpen and you have halos you can as well eliminate those halos by simply double clicking on this and you can have back your blend if remember halos usually affect the brightest areas in the image then you can come to the blend if and make sure you have gray and come and take it out from the brightest area so that you can have a more natural sharpened image and simply hit ok so basically this is the best way to sharpen your images in photoshop and if i told you i've loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.